Hey, uh, one of the most important things that you can do as a person that's alive right now, somebody that has the gift of being able to think, breathe, and live, and especially if you have uh, internet access, I want you to use what God has given you, all the resources that God has given you, and I want you to pull out of your mind what God has put into you. When I say that, I mean, there's something that God has put into you exclusively. Like, you are the person that God appointed to bring this into fruition. Like, there's something in you that God put exclusively into you that can change your reality and reality for others. Like, there's something that God has given you that is going to be a gift, not only to you and your friends and your family members, but to your city, to your state, to your country, and to the world. So I really believe that it's your responsibility that you do that, whether it be you're inventing something new um, for the physical, um, something that makes people's lives better, makes people's uh, lives easier, or maybe a software, an app, uh, a device, something, or even a mindset shift, just helping people change their paradigm. Whatever it is that God gave you, your gift, your talent, I need you to use it. Um, similar to how I'm just recording this video right here, I'm in the bed, I'm about to watch uh, a show that's somebody's creation. I'm going to watch the show on a platform that's somebody's creation. I'm going to be viewing the show with a television screen that's somebody's creation. And whether it be something from the physical or whether it be something that we just think about, it is something that we have been given the tools to create. Uh, we've been we give, we've given these tools that we can use to create the things that God has put into us. And whether it be creating something from the physical that is, you know, physical, like if you cut down a tree and you build a chair or you build a house, create that. If you have an idea for something that's totally new, create that and get around the people that are going to benefit from what it is that you have to offer. People need to find you and you need to find people that can benefit and learn and grow and change for the better from what God put into you. So that's what I have for you in this video. Please pull out of you what God has put into you. He's giving you the tools for you to be able to do it. And um, I wanna see what you create. All right, thanks. I got love for you, I'm praying for you. I wanna see you win, like for real. I wanna see you win like off the charts you know i done seen a lot of success stories and success stories make me believe more in my ability so i need to see you win i hunger to see you win so seriously make it happen i believe in you i trust that god is here for us in that when you use what he has for you and you do what he has for you to do and you believe who god created you to be like I talk about in my other videos, be, do, have. If you believe in who God created you, who like who God created you to be, the identity that he's given you based on the word of God and, and, and what he said in his word when it comes to his promises for you. If you be that, if you be his child, like he said, if you accept that you are his child and you accept what he has for you and the beliefs that he wants you to have and the actions that he wants you to have and um, your behavior and just what you think and your actions and habits your goals, um, how you live, all has to be based on the identity that God has given you. You are more than a conqueror. When the Bible says we are more than conquerors, it's like, dang, that's just something I do on Wednesdays. I mean, today is Wednesday, so I guess being more than a conqueror, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, uh, maybe all the nights I'm conquering something. Like, you got to conquer the mindset that the world has tried to put into you and be like, you know what? I'm going to go higher. I'm going to believe what God said about me. So be, do, have. Be who God created you to be. Do what God created you to do so you can have all that God created you to have. There's so many promises that God has made to us. And God is not man that he should lie. So I want you to research the promises, read articles, um, detailing some of the, the Bible verses that um, have God's promises. Keep your Bible close. I need a, I need a, a Bible for the bathroom and a Bible for the closet. Cause I got a Bible for my bedroom and a Bible for the great room slash kitchen. Be yeah, a Bible for the bathroom, Bible for the closet. I'm in a one bedroom apartment right now, but when I get a bigger house, 
I'm gonna have more Bibles for every room to keep that thing closed. And then I got my um, I got my cell phones that have the Bible apps on it. And then there's this guy, Joseph Prince. He has. I gotta read this book. He has this book, The Power of Right Believing. This is something I need to read so I can get right. Just upgrade my thought process. Upgrade my belief system when it comes to all that God has created for me. So thanks for watching this video. I'm actually going to close the video. Just I'm going to press stop. But God is here for you. God loves you. And God cares for you. Believe that God is here for you. Believe that you are worthy. Believe that God loves you. Believe that God values you. And you take that love that God shows you. And you need to show it to yourself. You need to be like, you know what? God loved me, so I love me. And then what you love in God, you love in yourself, you get to love others better. So, all right. Thanks so much for watching the video. Thank you for your time and attention. Hopefully it has blessed you. All right. Peace out.